Yes, hello champions, Elias Moles here. Delighted to join you this week to share with you new tips on how you can grow your businesses and become better entrepreneurs, especially with network marketing. I'm the author of this wonderful book, The Master Key to Network Market Success. Please make sure you get a copy of yourself. Uh, you can get from Amazon. You can also be able to get from me personally and also from different bookstores, especially here in East Africa. Um, uh, today we are going to share with us a very important tip especially for networkers and team builders, how to create teamwork within your team. I'm so sure that you know that the leaders who have made it big in network marketing, generally there seems to be the fact that their teams work together, they grow together, uh, whether they are in a one country or several countries, you find really there's a level of teamwork. I've created that in the visionist team, which is my team that I'm building. And uh, this is how I've been able to do it. Number one, uh, for you to build teamwork within your team, then you must have a system and a culture. You must have a system, common things that you do. Uh, how do you orient people? How do you do your presentations? What are the slogans that you have? How are you organized? How do you do trainings? What, you know, basically some of those things. So have a system and a culture. When do you do commission rallies? How do you, how do you do most of the common things that you do together? So basically have a culture and a system. The moment a new person joins and finds a culture and a system, they just jump in there. So the teamwork uh, 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 really begins with the first part that you sponsor, create a culture, create a system with them, so that anyone who comes in, boom, just jumps into what? The system and the culture. And then point number two in creating teamwork within your team, be the kind of leader that people can follow. Remember that you as a leader, you are the cohesion, you are the anchor, you are the one who brings everyone together. So the moment you're a kind of leader who is followable, who, is in, who has integrity, your people skills, you're respectful, and many, many other attributes of a leader, then you easily create teamwork. But if you're a kind of leader who cannot get people together, forget about teamwork. After all, if people cannot work with you, how can they, how can they work among themselves? when they are from different what? lines. So be a good leader. It begins with being a good leader. Read books on leadership, practice leadership, where you feel you are faltering or you are failing. Make sure that you correct yourself until you are that perfect what? leader. Uh, point number three is to keep your strong leg close. Now, uh, in binary business, we normally have a left leg and right leg uh, generally, but also in other businesses, you never stay a step. There's always the biggest leader. We call that one your strongest what? leg. He's more like your, he could be a competition even, maybe something of the sort, if I may call it. But basically, your strongest team, uh, keep it close because they, they generally, I don't know what it is, I've seen it in the world, they will feel not supported, they will always, uh, 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 they can also move on to their own. Maybe sometimes the, the leader of that particular line feels that they can also earn the same man as you. And of course, everyone in your team should feel it, but sometimes they, it could make them a bit defiant or something of the sort. So you may disagree on many areas. And the moment you, you disagree with your biggest line, then you have loaded lost the teamwork within your team. Remember that your biggest line leader maybe also influences other people within your team. So always make sure you keep your strong leg very close. Then um, point number four, is respect your team leaders. A good leader respects the leaders below them. The moment you respect leaders below you, they will follow you. The moment you don't respect them and treat them with rigor, then they will, they will never follow you. So make sure that you as a leader, you respect the leaders below you. When you respect them, they will follow you. But if you don't respect them, they are better off alone. They can afford, they can uh, be able to also promote their own teams alone. And they say they're not part of you, they have the finances. So always make sure that you are humble enough to respect the leaders, knowing that what you have done, they can also be able to do it, but you choose to work together as a team. Point number five and lastly is have activities together. What is a team that does not uh, come together? How together? It's just like a family. That moment when you are uh, uh, you are, you are having dinner together on a on a table, that is important. Family is created by memories together. So also make sure that you have activities together that give you a memory together, that give you a bond, that make different lines meet. The moment you do that and you're all uh, maybe singing the same slogan, singing the same song, believing in the same vision, then it's very easy for you to create teamwork within your team. Remember that through these meetings and activities, different sidelines meet and they're able to interact, they're able to, to, to enjoy each other and eventually when it comes working together, they can work together. A team that does not meet together cannot work together. 
May God bless you. Thank you so much for listening to me. Make sure you get yourself a copy. I'm delighted to keep on mentoring you. Please leave some comments below uh, uh, on how you can create teamwork, how you have created teamwork, so that even uh, uh, so that uh, more members, people who are listening to this, can also learn from you. I'm really delighted. May God bless you. See you at the top. Bye.